habits. There are some habits that are good. Some are bad. And some will make you more attractive. Today, gentlemen, we're going over six habits of highly attractive men. So when it comes to habits, these are things that we do on a consistent basis. If you do something consistently, they're going to have a direct impact on a lot of things. Whether or not you kick the day's ass, whether or not you look good or you look like crap. Well, these six habits are ones that I've identified that are so closely tied to being attractive. It's not even fair to other dudes how freaking attractive you're going to become. Gentlemen, number one is the habit of being consistently authentic. Authenticity and being real with people is is, is such an amazingly beautiful thing. And it definitely sets you apart from a lot of people because in today's world, there are a lot of people out there that are putting on facades, putting on fronts, and trying to act like they're something they're not. If you're authentic, you are attractive. The second habit of highly attractive men, you're not ashamed of wanting to look good. So growing up, I always liked to look good. When it came to the way that I dressed, the way that I styled my hair, my grooming, I was always concerned about it. But I was made to feel like it was something I shouldn't do. Because people would call me names. They'd be like, oh, he dresses well, he must be gay, or he's metro. Stupid, it's archaic, and in today's world, you need every advantage over your competition you possibly can. And looking good and not being a ashamed to want to dress well and to be well groomed and to smell good this is absolutely something you should not shy away from you should not fear you know for a fact there are some of you out there that do not dress the way that you want to dress or try things you want to try because you're afraid of what other people are going to say one of the other things that i hear all the time i'll see somebody and i'll be like oh i can tell that he's starting to grow like a light beard and he's shaved underneath his neck and i'm like oh you're starting to grow a beard and like oh no i forgot to shave i'm like you didn't forget to shave you shaved under here, you want to grow a beard, own it, it's okay, and while you're at it, grab a Brio. Greatest grooming tool in the history of grooming tools and today's amazing video sponsor. Gentlemen, I've talked about the Brio Beardscape on many occasions. I also did a side-by-side -side comparison of the Brio versus the Norelco. If you missed that video, it was non-sponsored. I will link to it down below. The bottom line is this, there is no better grooming tool on the market than the Brio. I use this product for my body, for chest hair, for pubic hair for my face. Bros, Alpha, you use the same trimmer on your ass that you use on your... Yes, I do. It's my ass. What do I care? Gentlemen, the deal is this. If you are in the market for the superior, the most superior product in terms of a grooming tool on the market, you have got to hit that link down below. Brio sells out every single time I do a video, and right now they're back in stock. The reason they sell out, because A, the quality is amazing, B, the price is ridiculous, C, the price is freaking ridiculous. I have no idea how they sell this product for the price that they're offering it to you guys. It's a special deal. Supplies are limited. If you're interested, grab it. It comes with a bunch of attachments, different speeds, different lengths, ceramic blade, like titanium rake, huge battery. You want to rock and craft 10 day stubble your own, or just make sure that your pubes aren't like super nuts and crazy. Grab a Brio, guys. Supplies are limited. They will not last. They're priced to sell and move. Link below. Check it out. The third habit of highly attractive men, they stand up for themselves and others. Standing up for yourself and others is one of the hardest things to do when you're not accustomed to it, or if you're a people pleaser, or if you've had basically abuse in your life. Um, I had some abusive stepfathers when I was growing up, and it, it sort of taught me from a young age just to shut my mouth and, and to take it because I didn't want to rock the boat. I didn't want to, you know, upset anybody. And as I've gotten older and, and I did a little bit of therapy, I found my value. And it's one of the most amazing things, the most beautiful things that you can do is stand up for yourself. And then if you see somebody else being treated poorly, instead of turning the other way or blind eye, see somebody being hurt or taken advantage of, you stand up for them. And honestly, there's there's not much more that's that's more beautiful and attractive. The fourth habit of highly attractive men is you take care of yourself physically. I'm talking about working out, drinking plenty of water, eating a healthy, balanced diet. Now, I'm not talking about you needing to have six-pack abs or chiseled delts or, or glutes of steel. I'm just saying that you need to take care of yourself. If you exercise, if you eat right, eat a balanced diet, even if physically you can't necessarily see a difference in the mirror or on the scale, emotionally you feel better about yourself because you know each and every one of you knows that you should be taking care of yourself and when you do, the confidence that arises is ridiculous. Bring us to the fifth, habit of highly attractive men. They take care of themselves 
emotionally. Emotionally, physically, they're two different things, but they definitely do intersect and coincide. Emotionally, you've got to be in check. You've got to take care of your crap. If you've got a lot of unresolved issues, they're going to manifest in a lot of weird ways. You're not going to have healthy relationships. You're not going to be as happy or healthy as you possibly could. Being okay with having emotions and sharing them and, and understanding them is an incredibly beautiful and attractive thing. And if you understand them and get in the habit of identifying them and embracing them, attractive number six. Habit is ambition. Being ambitious, being goal-oriented and having a dream, having a vision, being ambitious, being a hard worker, these are so incredibly sexy. Not just for men, for women, for dog, for anybody who's ambitious and hardworking, but something that just makes me go, <laughs> give me a break is when I see everybody talking on Instagram, talking on social media about how ambitious they are and the grind and all the hustle and all that nonsense. Gentlemen, talk is cheap. Action is where it's at. And that's it, guys. Six habits of highly attractive men. But I want to know, what did I miss? Down in the comments, let me know. Is there a habit that you think is incredibly attractive? If I missed it, let me know. If you dug this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're going to kick life's ass like there's no tomorrow. Also, a thumbs up to let me know you're serious about being solid. Gentlemen, I love you more than my double monk strap shoes, and I think you are super fantastic, beautiful, and amazing.